ground turkey, eggs, and spinach. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, I forgot. Gotta add the sriracha, man. It's not complete without the sriracha. Normally I would have oatmeal, but like I'm feeling full already. And I'm gonna work out in like in the next hour or so. So like I don't wanna feel like super, super full when I'm in the gym. I really, really hate that. So I'm just gonna keep it simple with the eggs, turkey, and the spinach. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this and get ready for the gym. All right, so one of my favorite things to do is to go to the gym murdered out. And when I say murdered out, that means basically wearing all black. So we have the off-weight black joggers and the charcoal, um, the new tank that came out, the charcoal and black. So like, I think it's gonna look really, really good together. You know, the black and the charcoal and black. So yeah, when you go to the gym murdered out, that's how you know it's gonna be a really, really good workout. Yo, so I got everything on, right? Like, this black on black look looks crazy, man. It looks so sick. Like, I got the joggers on. Uh, the new Alphalete, I mean, I got the Alphalete joggers on. I like the joggers, man. They fit really nice, fit really tight. Um, it's just like just hugging my legs and it just feels really comfortable. My thing with joggers is like, I never wear joggers just because I can never find the things. Uh, like, joggers that are tight enough for my legs because like, I wear joggers, but like, it would be loose, you know? And um, these joggers feel like really good, nice and tight. And uh, yeah, man, black on black. I'm telling y'all, if you don't do black on black, you need to do black on black. And uh, you just feel different, man. You feel different when you go to the gym when you have black on black. So, yeah, I got the black headband, the new muscle. new mu I love this, man. I love this. It's like the black on charcoal. Looks really good. So, uh, I can tell it's going to be a really good workout. So, yeah. All right. So, the shirt is a medium. The joggers are a medium. I like things like fitted on me. I like it like fitted and um, like for it to shape my body. So, yeah. Um, today, we have a bicep and tricep workout. I could already feel... I hear, I just, like, you know those days you wake up and you just know it's gonna be a good workout. It's like one of those days today. Um, you know, before I was full, um, yeah, I just woke up like my stomach was full. I didn't feel hungry at all. So I just made sure I got my ground turkey and eggs in uh, with the spinach, no oatmeal, just straight. Um, we're gonna just uh, run off the pre-workout today. So yeah, man, it's, it's gonna be a good workout. Like I said earlier, we're murdered out. And when you're murdered out, it's usually a good workout. I don't know, man. It's, it's a thing. You should try it. You should definitely try it. But yeah, I really enjoy like when you guys tag me in pictures on Instagram. Like I really like it because I like seeing like uh, what you guys are working out today or something like that. Like I, I really like it when you guys tag me or um, when you guys comment like, yo, like I watched this before I killed my workout. Like that's that's so tight to me. I love that. I love that. Um, but yeah, man, I'm like really, really excited to go to the gym today. Super Bowl Sunday. Got to make this a uh, quick yet like like intense workout. Because I'm uh, going to watch the Broncos and Panthers game. By the time this is uploaded, we already know who won. So, yeah. Let's head on to the gym. All right, so I just did, um, I kept it really, really light today. I did box squats, I worked up to 405 pounds. Tomorrow is like my, uh, is my really, 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 really heavy squat day. So it's like, I don't want to burn myself out. So once again, I had to auto-regulate and make sure I'm doing lightweight today so I have energy to squat tomorrow. So yeah, time to move on to my bicep and tricep workout. So let's get it. All right, so now it's time to start the bicep and tricep workout. We got straight bar uh, bicep curls. We're gonna work up to some heavy reps, then come back down with volume. So. Let's get it. All right, so now we're getting into the heavy reps in this uh, straight bar bicep curl. So when I'm getting into the heavy reps, I'm gonna cheat a little bit and like uh, use some hip drive in order to get the weight up, the weight's up, but when it's coming back down, you notice it's not just falling down, I'm controlling it on the way down. So I'm still working my biceps. So I'm, I'm getting more weight, I'm making, I'm trying to make my biceps stronger so in the future I can uh, do more weight for my volume set. So yeah, 
let's keep going with this heavyweight. So, uh, let's get it. All right, so now we're going back down to the 25s on each side, and we're gonna get some volume in, man. So we got the heavy sets out of the way. Now it's time to get some reps out of the way. All right, so the next workout is gonna be for triceps. We're moving on to close grip, uh, bench press. So this workout's like for, um, you know, it's a heavy compound movement for bicep and then a heavy compound movement for tricep. And after that, everything else is just isolation work for each, uh, for bicep and tricep. So yeah, we're gonna pyramid up to some heavy reps then come down and get a, a one set, one failure set with volume. So yeah, let's get it. All right, we got a 315 on the bar, close grip bench, so uh, yeah, let's get it. All right, so I got 315 up for, I think, about five reps. So now it's time to come down with volume, stick it at 225, and uh, we're gonna get some, get some reps in, man. Probably like 12, 15 reps. So uh, let's get it. All right, so now it's time to start the isolation movements. We're gonna do uh, spider curls, then we're gonna superset that with some overheaded, um, overhead single arm tricep extensions. So yeah, let's get it. All right, so we're gonna do last superset for the workout today. It's gonna be bice alternating dumbbell bicep curls and then we're gonna superset it with some skull crushers. So yeah, getting more volume in. It's gonna finish up the workout. Nice, quick, and efficient, so let's get it. What's up, bro? Oh, look at this guy. Oh, look, look at this guy. guy look, at this guy, man. look at this I joke. Hate, I hate this guy, man. I don't. I hate this guy, man. It's a nice quote. shirt, though. I, it, it, this is a very nice shirt. But I, I, I don't like this guy. <laughs> Something about wearing all black, man. Murdered out. Murdered out. Had a great workout. Look at that. Murdered out. Had a great workout. So now it's time to head on home. Watch the Super Bowl. Now, got my gallon. I left it inside um, my car, but got it now. So it's time to get on that gallon, a gallon of water grind. I don't feel like carrying the other gallons in. It's just my arms are too heavy. My arms are too sore right now.
All right, so I'm gonna show you guys like a quick tip. Like this is like major, major key. So. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a quick post workout meal in like probably like five minutes, five minutes tops. So we got the fajita grilled ready chicken strips. And we got the jasmine rice. All right, so step one, put the jasmine rice inside the microwave for 90 seconds. So 90 seconds is basically a minute and 30 seconds in case you guys didn't know. I don't know why I feel like I have to explain that. All right, so next step, get the chicken, measure it out, nine ounces of the chicken, put it on the plate. Now we're gonna warm it up for three minutes. All right, so the chicken is nice. And ready. Last step, just add on the rice, man. You're done. You're finished. So it took the rice, <clears throat> it took the rice one minute and 30 seconds to cook, and the chicken three minutes. So that is a total. Let me see if my math is right. Four minutes and 30 seconds. So nice, easy, and quick post workout meal. Chicken and rice. Oh wait, forgot the sriracha sauce. All right, so what's up guys? My bad, like after I finished making um, that quick post-workout meal, I took a shower and then the Super Bowl started, so I immediately started watching that. And I forgot to vlog some extra, uh, some other extra stuff. But um, yeah, I just wanna, oh yeah. I remember where I got my head, uh, my head, like my headband from. So um, there's like the, like two years ago or like a year and a half ago, I got some headbands from a like from this um, website called Motivation Motivation Athletics or something like that. And um, I, I kept searching because like like a lot of people at the gym and asked me like where did you get your headband from? And I kept searching Motivation Athletics. I never could find it. But then I figured out that they changed their name to Epiforce. Epiforce.com. So yeah, that's where you can find the uh, cool headbands at. Um, yeah, they have like black, um, white, gray, camo. I just ordered me like a, what was it? Like a camo one. But yeah, that's where I got it from. I'll probably link it in the description box. So, uh, yeah, man, the Broncos won the Super Bowl. It was so cool. Peyton Manning's like one of my favorite players of all time. So I'm really, really happy about that. Cam, I'm sorry it had to be you. Cam is like, he, he, I just really love the way he plays. The whole dabbing and just the, the confidence which he plays with, the, uh, the swagger that that team has. I, it, I'm really just shocked that the Broncos were able to dominate the game they were, the way they did. So, yeah, man, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys liked it. Like always, if you liked it, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Get better today. I'm out.